We're back now at 1123. WISN 12 is celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. The theme this year is Pioneers of Change, Shaping the Future Together. Joining me now in studio is someone who knows a little bit about being a pioneer of change, Jocasta Zamaripa, the first Latina elected to Milwaukee's Common Council. Alderwoman, thank you so much for being here in studio. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Jared. Uh, of course, of course. So you made history when you were elected to Milwaukee's Common Council uh, as the first Latina elected to, uh, to, to the council, but you had made history before that as well in the state legislature. Tell me about your journey. Yes, in um, 2011, I was sworn in the very first Latina woman um, to serve in the Wisconsin state legislature. I served just about a decade. Um, it was a very important um, milestone for my community. We had seen a Latino man achieve uh, election to the legislature, but we'd never seen a woman um, in our Hispanic community. So it's been an honor to represent um, our community and also a tremendous responsibility. Talk about that responsibility and, and what that moment meant, not only at the legislature level, but uh, at the Common Council level too, and what that representation means for the community. It, for me, it, I feel that I'm opening the doors for other Latino women and girls. Um, to, when they see me in this posi position, I hope that they see themselves uh, and possibly um, think about something even higher. I know we just elected, or uh, we just swore in Maricela Cabrera to the Milwaukee County Circuit Court. Um, to see a Latina at, um, sitting as a judge, I, I just hope that we inspire the generation after us to see themselves in these elected positions. Who knows, maybe the first Latina governor is watching me right now. Yeah, and how do you translate the work that you're doing kind of inside council chambers to the work that you're doing in the community? I know that you're very active uh, in the community as well. Um, I think, you know, we have the first um, common council president, a, la a Latino man, Jose Perez, um, in that seat. I think it helps us to, to advocate more for our community. We are the fastest growing population in, in Milwaukee and across the great state of Wisconsin. We want that to translate into more folks working for government. Our numbers at the city in terms of workers is low in comparison to our black and white counterparts. Um, Jose and I want to see those numbers increase. We want people to see the city as a place to work and thrive. I say this all the time that we don't need a month, a day, a week designation to celebrate the diverse cultures that make up our communities. We should do this year round, but why is it important that we take uh, this time during Hispanic Heritage Month to really celebrate and uplift the culture here in Southeast Wisconsin? Honestly, I think it's an opportunity for us to, to share it with our allies. Uh, and so we hope that folks will come into the community and spend money at our businesses, eat at our restaurants, come to our celebrations. I really think it's a time for us to, to share our culture with the rest of the greater Milwaukee and Wisconsin community. Alderwoman Jocasta Zamaripa, thank you so much for being here and thank you for what you're doing in the community. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, Darren. Of course. Still